Good night, Pamela. Good night, Claudia. Good night. Good night. It has been a pleasure to have you here in my class. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Oh, that's nice amazing. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I will show my face in a moment, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's not that I haven't cut my hair and nothing else. No, don't worry about that. I'm a completely disaster right now. <laughs> okay. No, that's not true. Uh, but um, I got to wait for the rest, right? And, okay. Um, so it's because I log in like a pretty early today that because I just want to be like on time, right, for everybody. Um, but I'm so happy that right now is just girls' night, right? Because we just have Cardi and Pamela and myself. So that's amazing, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a girls' night. Woohoo! I like it. But you know what? For my experience, I have to let you know that I should not talk early. Because as soon as I say a girl's night, for some reason, a man appears. And it was not going to be girl's night anymore. So I better zip it. <laughs> I better <laughs> close my mouth just in case, right? But I just have a, a Claudia and Pamela, so that's good. It's because we are like um, more than five minutes early, right? Right. But that's okay. You came on time. That's amazing. How was your work day? Well, it was very busy. Really? What happened? Oh, because I had to mail some, I don't know how to say, informants. Oh, okay. Like informs? Informs to court. Court. Are, uh, are you a lawyer? Yes, I am. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's amazing. So we have a lawyer here. Ooh, I, I gotta be like, I'm gonna watch out, right? Just in case. You see mm -hmm. right now, you see, Claudia? We have Pablo Ernesto already here, right? Good so, night, everyone. I told you, I told you, I should not say girls' night because as soon as uh, I said that, there's a man that arrives here. So we have uh, Claudia. I'm talking with Claudia right now. I have, uh, oh, we have two Claudies. Oh, my goodness. We have... Claudia Lisette and Claudia Cecilia. Oh my God. You if can I, call me Liz. Liz? Or okay. Lisette. Or Liz. Whatever you prefer. Lisette. Lisette. Okay. So Lisette yeah. and Claudia. Should I call you Claudia or would you like me to call you Cecilia? I cannot hear you. I think you have your Microsoft on. Let me check. Yes. Very good. Okay, uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Claudia Cecilia. Uh -huh. and, and everybody told me uh, Claudia. Or Clau. Oh, oh, so everybody calls you Claudia. So, okay, yes. that you make myself a little bit easy today. Because, uh, okay, so I can, I can call Liz, Lisette. Yes. And the, uh, the second Claudia is going to be Claudia. Okay, Claudia is Claudia. Okay, okay, cool. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we have Claudia, we have Liz, we have Pamela, we do have Elsa, and uh, we do have Gabby. Oh my God, we have two handsome boys today. So, ooh, isn't it amazing? Oh wow! And you, you see, you you did, uh, did you figure it out who turned around, who turned back, guys? When I said handsome boys, Pablo Ernesto, like, are you talking to me, by the way? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Paulo. How are you? Fine, fine. That's amazing. Are you still at work, by the way? Yes, uh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. But at the same time, I'm so happy that um, that even though it has been a really tough day for you, maybe you're tired, you're still at work, but you show your commitment because you're here. And that's amazing. I'm so happy to, to have a, a students like that. That's great. Thank you so much, Pablito. There you go. Edwin, what about you? He just posed a picture. Come on. I want to see your face. Yeah, very good. Hey, okay, now it's time. Okay, I'm going to show my face. So please don't scare, okay? Please. Hey, hi. 
Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's me. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Isn't it amazing, guys? Hey, wow. Intermediate one. That's amazing. Congratulations. You have worked you. so hard to be here. That's amazing. You should be proud of yourself. Excellent. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy teacher, but at the same time, I'm crazy sometimes. So you're going to notice at the, uh, in the future. Uh, I'm talkative. If you have noticed, I just make you speak. Because for, with me, you have two options. Speak or speak. Which one you prefer? Speak. Speak, right? Of course. Yeah, definitely. Number one. It was not number one. <laughs> the only one <laughs> the only one. yeah that's the only option that you have right yeah so with me you gotta practice you gotta speak definitely and that i think that it will be one of your goals right guys to speak to speak with more yeah. self-confidence right yes. to having to increase your vocabulary right and so on that's amazing oh and talking about that um i just mentioned to you some of the um maybe goals that you have for this course, but I want to hear you guys. But before I hear you, let me present myself. And my name is Sylvia. I'm going to be your teacher for this model. So welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the course. <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully we can end up at the end of this model, not only as a teacher and student, right? But uh, as a group, as a team, as a family, okay? All righty, I'm just gonna work 20%, you're gonna work 80%. That's, I think that's fair. <laughs> And Jay, I'm gonna say, yeah. <laughs> All righty, very good. Okay, um, I always ask you guys uh, what we have seen the last class, so you better start it with me, okay? And hopefully I, uh, you will be with me every night no it's going to be sometimes the really issue that is out of your hands but please try to be here okay if there's a reason you cannot do it uh, you just let me know uh, but try to do it and also you have the link so you will be able to view the the classes every single day okay every single day i upload it we have like a youtube channel we have a specific uh, list for our class So you just click on it and you will be able to see it because I put it just the topic that we have seen, the date, right, et cetera. So there is no way that you can get lost. All righty. So, oh, let me ask you, if I speak a little bit faster, could you please be so kind to don't hesitate to say, hey, you know, teacher, what, slow down, please, a little bit, if you mind, okay? Yeah, I will be able to slow down. Don't worry. If you want me to explain it to you again, I'll be more than glad to explain it to you. That's okay for me, okay? And we will try, guys, to work the four skills. Speaking, listening, reading, and writing, okay? All of them. Because some of us have a strong in speaking, for example. But some of us is not good in listening. So we need to, like, okay, accelerate everything. All righty. And if you need some specific help, let me know. And we're going to do all the exercises and uh, uh, according to what exactly you need. All right. Um, I'm 30-something years old and I'm going to leave it like die way. <laughs> um, I have pets. I love animals by heart. And I have two dogs and one cat. Um, what else? I love seafood. Um, what a, oh, I also love the nature. I love nature. Go to the mountains, go to the beach, relax. I, also, I love to spend time with my family and my friends. I love my friends and my family by heart. And I love to read. And, and I love to do another things like teaching English classes. Because right now, from, from now on, you're going to be my new babies. Yay! <laughs> and, so, and sometimes, you know, I'm going to be a little bit crazy. So I, hopefully you get used to it, okay? <laughs> yeah, Zoe, go ahead. The microphone is all yours. Go ahead, sir. 
Yes, Edwin. Oh, you said. For me, it's like, wait a minute. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just a little bit crazy. Ah, you said, oh, me. Oh, no. Don't worry. Ha, you, you, this is just a day, day number one. <laughs> Wait for the rest of the model. And I think you're gonna increase your fingers. It's going to be like this, like this. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Pamela, are you gonna say something? Go ahead. I I just wanna ask you if you are Salvadorian. Yes, a hundred percent. From Santa Ana, by the way. Your accent is so fluent. I love it. Thank you. I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> we're going to share our knowledge, okay? <laughs> hey, guys, and you know what? We're going to practice. Thank you, Pame. And we're going to practice a lot of things that maybe you already know so far. Like, for example, being simple things like present, right? What day it is today and all the stuff. Because sometimes we ended up to confuse or to forget, right? So I always, guys, I will pick one of you randomly right democratically <laughs> and i'm gonna ask hey guy hey but the way says he oh claudia what is today and you need to let me know and maybe i will ask somebody else to write it for us on the chat so in that case we're gonna like practice that speaking but at the same time we're gonna practice the the writing you see and i'm gonna figure it out how how you are or maybe there are some areas that we need to like do a little bit of reinforce. Okay, that's it. Okay, so teacher, please stop talking. Okay, yes, I'm gonna zip it. And well, I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna uh, know a little bit about yourself, right? As a, a short. And I also wanna know, well, your name, right? Your hobbies. Uh, if you want to let, you, let us know your age, that's fine. <laughs> if you want to let us know your um, your profession as well, that's fine. And uh, what is or which are your expectations on this course? Let me check. Uh, okay, so everybody says ladies first, but you know what? Mm -mm, no, in this case, no way. Okay, so hi, you know, hi, me. Yes, you remember me, one of my uh, best friends and good friends. So hi, me. Uh, we want to hear from you. Go ahead. Okay. Do you listen to me? Of course. Hi, everyone. My name is Jaime Velasco. I am 38 years old. And I'm glad to be here. And well, my, my expectation of this course is to enhance my listening, writing, and also my speaking skills. Uh, uh, I work at the government of El Salvador mm -hmm. since to 2008. Ooh. Yes, a lot of time. 12 years, right? No more, 13? 13 years. Wow. I'm good in math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's all. No, uh, that's all. Come on. Hey, Jaime, before you go, guys, I will let you know when you finish that you don't have to say anything else. There's a specific phrase that you use. No, not like Jaime, because Jaime said that's all like, like box one, right? That's all box. No, <laughs> it's going to be that's it, right? When okay. you said that's that it, that means that you're already finished and there's nothing else to say. Okay. Okay, Jaime, okay. so what is the magic phrase? Jaime, come on, I just say it. What is the magic that's phrase? It. Very good. But with enthusiasm, like, hey, that's it, guys. <laughs> like that, yeah, with feeling. Okay, that's it, guys. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I like. I like your smile. Very good. Excellent. I promise you're not going to sleep with me. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jaime. Appreciate it. Well done. Yeah. Hey, who said? Who else? Elwin, thank you. I know you wanted to participate. Go ahead. Yes, of course. 
Hi, everyone. My name is Elvin Pineda. And I live in Playa del Cuco. What? <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, you're from there? Yeah. Woohoo! Very good. We already have a place to go, guys. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm 29 years old. And I'm working in an association of fishers. And my place uh, and the place that I work is between the the bridge. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Is that where you are right now? Uh, no. I am a house uh, in a colony. Uh, what is that? The name of your neighborhood? The neighborhood, the place, the place that you live, ah, it calls Colonia neighborhood. Las Flores. Flores. Colonia Las Flores. Oh, Las Flores neighborhood. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. I don't have pets. No. Uh, yes, you I do. Have the fish. Uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yes. Besides that. <laughs> Uh, the only pets I have uh, are mouse. <laughs> mouse? No, ma no. Mouse is one. More than one is miss. Miss. Uh huh. Oh, sorry, and mice. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Oh, you know what? I love mouse. I love them. They're so cute. My favorite movie is Roger Twill. <laughs> So I like it. All right. Very good. Thank you, Elwin. Okay, Elwin, you know what? You, uh, you're going to do like a, a right hand teacher. You know, you're going to help me today. Do me a favor. Pick somebody else of the classmate. Anybody. Mm. Claudia Cecilia. Claudia Cecilia. Okay, Claudia. The Microsoft is all yours. Go ahead. Sorry, but Elwin shows you. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Claudia Cecilia, but I prefer my first name, Claudia. Um, sometimes uh, there are uh, uh, people who told me Clau, uh, and I like. Um, I work with a computer and programmer. And, uh, and my, I love pets like you. <laughs> I have two dogs <laughs> um, and I love to travel too. Um, it's every, every time I enjoy mm -hmm. uh, uh, all a lot of travel, know uh, new places and enjoy natural a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, it's incredible uh, when when you when I have a opportunity to travel mm -hmm. and enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I like also watch uh, movies and uh, my my favorite movie is um well I I have a, a lot of <laughs> prefer movies <laughs> and and about this course, uh, my, expect my expectations uh, are uh, to improve all, uh, all English skills. Um, uh, my biggest problem is expressing myself every no time. No kidding. No, I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you, but if you say so, okay. Thank you, but uh, I, I, all the time I try it, but uh, to me, I consider it's so difficult and maybe it's because uh, so, um, I don't have anybody who I, I um, uh, have a conversation every time. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, that is the problem, <laughs> but I try it. <laughs> Very good. That's the spirit. That's the attitude, my girl. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh huh. And, and what is the phrase? What is the phrase, guys? What is the phrase? What is the phrase that's when you finish? It. That's, that's it. it. Uh huh. So? That's ah, it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Very good. That's, that's it. it. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. So everybody calls her Claudia, right? Claudia. Okay, very good. 
Excellent. That's good. Thank Not too bad. You know what? Uh, thank you so much because Claudia, you mentioned some point that is really important that I always um uh, give that tip to my students. Okay. When you if you if you think about yourself, guys, when you start learning English, right, the first day, maybe you just know hi and hello and bye, right? Maybe. But think about you when you start in English as of right now. Is your uh, vocabulary have, have been increased a little bit? Do you have more vocabulary than the first day? Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. And that is because you practice, because you read, because you listened, because you speak, because you write, etc. So my recommendation will be that, of course, you will continue learning. Learning is part of the process, right? And also part of the process is to make mistakes. Okay, if not, you're not gonna learn. So um, use to express yourself, don't complicate yourself. Don't like look for like sophisticated words, right? No, use that vocabulary that you know so far, okay? In English, it's really nice because you can express the same idea in a different ways <laughs> from like a little simple sentence to like, woof, college, right? Book. <laughs> so no way, okay? Try now, try to use test a vocabulary that you know so far. They're in this model, or of course, you're going to continue learning English here with us, maybe with me, maybe with a different teacher, your vocabulary will increase. And in that way, you will like put it on your back, right? Put it inside your sack, right? That is a brand new word, okay? And that means this, I'm going to use it later on. And this is similar to this idea that I want, okay? So that will help you. We will continue to learn, okay? Right now, you have uh, some amount of vocabulary. I will let, uh, maybe you can let me know, or you're going to let me know at the end of the course how many words or new words you have learned and you will see that you will learn at least 10 new ones mm -hmm. that maybe are synonyms to the ones that you already know maybe antonyms or maybe they're really brand new okay but please don't complicate yourself just use the vocabulary that you know maybe claudia knows uh, more vocabulary than uh, josue i don't know Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe they are the same. Uh, uh, don't worry, it's just an example, okay? Don't feel bad. No, it's just an example, okay? Uh, maybe yes, maybe no. We're gonna help each other, okay? As I said, we're a team, we're a group, we're a family, we're here to learn. I'm gonna learn from you guys, and you're gonna learn from me, okay? Is a deal? You know what a deal, deal? You know what deal, deal is, right? Yes? Yeah. Like shake your hands. Yep. Ooh, deal. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write it right now just in case. De Whoops. Number one. No. There you go. The second one. <laughs> deal. Let's make a deal. Okay. Let's make a pact. Okay. That's that's what it is. Give me twelve five. Woo -hoo! Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sassy. Hey, Claudia, sorry. Oh my goodness, that's why. Claudia, Cla I need to get used to it. I'm sorry, Claudia. Okay, Claudia, it's your turn. Pick somebody else, please, from the course. Uh, well, I have a, a, one of my daughter's uh, name is Gabby. And oh. I choose Gabby Velasquez. <gasps> okay, Gabby Velasquez, you see. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if it's me or I'm going to need to use glasses or wear glasses, maybe. But I think, Gabby, it looks similar to you the face <laughs> right am i correct guys or am i blind like teacher you're not gonna need glasses uh, yeah yeah but you look alike you look alike that means you look similar right okay okay gabby it's your turn go ahead okay hi guys uh, as you can see i'm the new one mm. or, or well maybe i'm not the only one um I have to tell you that I am from Santa Ana. I live all my life there. <laughs> but I moved in last year to the capital, to the Salvador, searching for a better work opportunities. And now here I am. I am working in Soyapango. I have to take 
two buses a day. But, well, I'm good. <laughs> You're fine. Also, I'm living, <laughs> I'm living here in my auntie's home. And I live also with my grandmother. They are very good with me. And, but the, the only bad thing is that I love animals. I love cats and I love rabbits. My baby is my rabbit, but he had to stay in Santa Ana, so. Oh my God, <laughs> sorry. But you, you gotta visit him. Yeah, yeah. Every every weekend that I can, I I try to to visit on my parents and my rabbit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here I feel a little bit alone. When I came, when I come to Santa Ana, I just where's my baby? Where's my rabbit? <laughs> she uh, was, she uh, didn't say hi, mom. Now where's my baby? Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, hi, mom. Um, mom is like a place. Like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Well. I uh, like English very much, but I just lose the practice a lot. And this is a big opportunity to me to improve my English because it will give me a lot of opportunities that I have to, to improve because I am, I, I am marketer. I am in, an international marketer, so it's like, uh, a very important thing. Things. And that's it. That's I very, nice. very good. That's amazing. If you want to speak like Claudia, don't worry, Gavin. With me, you're going to speak. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, Gabby, it's your turn. Pick somebody else. Uh, let's see. Um, let's listen to Leonidas. Leonidas. Where is Leonidas here? Where is, oh, Leo, okay, Leo. Hey, I have a friend whose name is Leonidas. Hello, too. guys. Hi, Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. Hi, well, my name is Leonidas Alejandro Ramirez. I'm 30, 33 years old. Um, my hobbies, well, I'm, I love play the piano. I love sing. Um, I work in, I'm working in, government in the ministry of taxes oh that's great um, four years ago i think um my expectations well is working better my english and all of files and that's it i don't know I don't very know. good he was straight <laughs> to the point right he, straight to the point so he said that he wants to improve improve his skills right Okay, I send it, I put it on the chat. Improved. Improved. Okay. It means getting better and better and better, right? Improved. Okay. Hey guys, you have learned two, no, three words right now. Deal, improve, and skills. Very good. Good job. You see, not too bad. I have to right. say that I also learn miss oh mace. Uh, a lot of muscles. Ah, uh, me. Uh-huh. Miss. That's a new word for me. Yes, because you know what? Most, most of the time you said mouse, mouses, right? But no. There are some words that are not like kind of logic, the plural, no. <laughs> and that is one of them. The plural of mouse. So, but I think that Elwin would never forget that. We said, eh, maybe a, a rat or a mouse will pass behind him or in front of him and say, hey, you know what? Today, uh, 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 we were talking about you in class, you know? <laughs> okay, go ahead. What, Edwin? Go ahead. Edwin. Hello. Go. Hello. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a, a new one for me, too. You see? So that means four. Very good. All righty. Okay, so now Gabby, no, was Leo. Leo. Can we call yeah. you Leo or Leo or Leonidas? Um, I don't know if you if you will call me Leo, okay, no, no problem, or Alejandro, or Leonidas. I don't know. For me, Leo, I know that is similar for me All to the people Neo. call me Leo. All the people call me Leo. Leo. It's more short. Leo, for me, is like similar to Neo, and I remember Matrix. 
<laughs> teacher, you see, I told you, teacher uh, is crazy. No, okay, no, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, Leo, Leo. Leo? It's okay. But you know what? I'm not gonna be just the same of the most of the people. I'm a unique teacher, you know. Okay, Ash. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, okay, maybe Alex. Alex will be good. Alex, for me. Yeah. And no, because no, Alejandro is right. Alejandro. Alejandro. Oh, so Ale, Ale. No problem. Okay, cool. Okay, Ale. Okay, yeah, very good. So thank you so much for letting me know that. <laughs> very good. No, okay. Ale, pick somebody else, please. Okay. Um. Marilyn Ramirez. Marilyn Ramirez. Okay, he smiles. So I think <laughs> you know already each other, right? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. He is my co-worker. Co ah, he's your co-worker. He is my co-worker. I'm, I mean, you know what? I'm sorry. I know you're going to uh, see him 24-7, so I apologize for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Hey, there's okay. another word. Teasing okay. you. I will let you know what that means. Go ahead, Marilyn. Okay. Monroe. Okay. Mm. Hi guys, my name is Marilyn Ramirez. Um, I'm 37 years old, old and I, I work in Texas office mm -hmm. <laughs> of the Hacienda. Okay. And I, I'm, I, I'm auditoria, auditor. Auditor? <laughs> Auditor, mm -hmm. I'm auditor, and my expectation to the course to this class is uh, improve my English, and my uh, conversation, my conversation in English, mm -hmm. and in uh, um, I like to to play violin. Really? Violin. As Leo, yeah, as Ali, great. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. We have, and, an, we have artists here. And only that's it. That's it. <laughs> only that's Very it. good, excellent. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. We're getting to know each other a little bit more. All right, thank you, Marilyn. Marilyn Morrow, by the way, right? You see, we have an actress here. All right, excellent. <laughs> okay, Pablito, I want to hear you. Hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness, he has a radio voice. Mm, okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Pablo Minero. Mm -hmm. I am... Um, uh, um, don't, don't worry, if you don't, know, if you don't want to say your age, that's okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like to know new place. Uh, I like in a popa and you live in the popa okay Ooh. yes but now i'm in guatemala really oh that's amazing uh, my travel if uh -huh. i work my work your work yes uh, i return tomorrow El salvador ah that's bad <laughs> it's too bad uh, i am electronic engineering Ooh. Uh, i loved cats really yes Oh my God. And my Sassy was here. That's the name of my cat, Sassy, because she's Sassy. a fancy girl. Yes. <laughs> but I do not have any. Ah, but... Don't worry. I can, I can find one for you if you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, only. Uh, no, 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 no. What's the, what's the <laughs> phrase? What's the phrase, guys? That's it. Okay. Okay. Paulito. Yes. Repeat, please. What's the phrase? When you finish? Yes. That's it. Okay, listen. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Um, Say it. When you finish to, to explain about something, you said, and you don't have any anything else to say, you said, That's it. <laughs> I would like to practice English a lot. Of course, and that's why I'm asking you. Say, That's it. Say it, please. Repeat. That's it. Pablito, Pablito, repeat the phrase. That's it. 
That's it. Okay, very good. That means, Pablito, that when you said that's it, that means that there is nothing else to say and you finish. Okay? Okay. And, and okay. that is the, the message that you transmit to us. Okay. Okay, okay. very okay. good. Excellent. Good job. Pamela. Oh, my, my. Pa Pamela is so comfortable right now. I think when she finished, like, she just jump in and go back to sleep. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, I, I, you, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, it's Pame. Because I, it's because I get Basen today. Oh, you woke up early today? No, I get Basen. Like, in my you get north. the back scene? Yes, oh, the back yes. scene. Okay. Yes. The shot. And it, yes, and it's hurting a lot. What your 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 arm? Yeah, my arm. Oh, only your arm. Yes, only my yeah. arm. Don't worry, I understand. After my <laughs> shot, I feel like dizzy and want to sleep for two consecutive days. I understand that perfectly. I felt like a bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I am uh, twenty-one years old. Ah, I am... <laughs> yeah, I guess. I am, I am, I am new one. I am the new one too, as Gabby, I guess, as Gabby say it. And I am a law student and I work in a law firm. And that's it, I Very guess. Very good. You know why you're lucky because we have a lawyer here, Claudia Lisette Velasquez. Lisette is a lawyer, so she can give you a hand, okay? Teacher, you're like... Yeah, thanks. <laughs> all my family. All my really? Family. As all your family? Oh, okay. Yeah. My sister is a lawyer, too. Yeah, <laughs> I understand that. Okay, very good, guys. Thank you. And last but not least, I want to listen Brenda. I want to listen Anita, Josue, Blanquita, and Elsie, volunteer. Okay, thank you so much, Anita Pineda. Go ahead. It's like, what? <laughs> you better be careful. And Brenda's like, phew, that's good. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hi, hey. hello, my name is, uh, it's Ana Beatriz, but all people used to call me Beatriz. Beatriz. Uh, you can call me Ana. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm 46 years old. Beatriz. Uh, well, he, I'm here because I want to, uh, how to speak English fluently? I used to speak, but now I I, I don't practice, and I have I, I kept thinking keeps thinking in Spanish, and I think that is that is most of the problems yes. that I have, and, uh -huh. and that's it. <laughs> Very good, just straight to the point. Thank you so much, Anita. Brenda, what about you? Good evening, guys. Good evening. Uh, my name is Brenda Calderon. Uh, you say me, Brenda. Um, okay, we can call you I am certified years old. Mm -hmm. I am a coaching. I love listening the music. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in San Salvador. And that's, that's it. That's it. And we have a new student on the back of you. You see, the baby. Hey, we have a new uh, brown student. <laughs> yes, here. it's my daughter. Ah, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Hi! Where is the baby? Where is the baby? Oh my god, I found the baby! Yay! <laughs> oh, very good. Hi! Oh, I love her. Sophie, nice to meet you. My name is Sophia. Hi! Sophia? Sophia. Me llamo Sophia. Sophie? Sophia. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Brenda. Bye. <laughs> All right. You. We have Josue. What about you, Josue? I want to hear you. Hey, hello, hello. Uh, Hi. Sir, uh, can you hear me? Yes, or, we can hear you. Yes. Uh, like far away, but we can hear you. Yes. Oh, okay. okay, thanks. Uh, well, my name is Josue David Torres, and I'm from Santa Ana. Um, I am 20 years old. Mm -hmm. I study uh, in the university. And um, I want to stay in this course until the end. 
and the course of the future to interpret how for me. Hey, and very good. I like to watch movies, I like play in the internet, and I don't know, um, I, I like to play video games and any, every, anything. Well, that's, that's it. Very that's good. It. Thank you so much. We have students here. Very good. We have lawyers. We have architects, right? We have uh, programmers, right? We have also artists. Very good. Blanquita, what about you? Hi. Hey. Uh, my name is Blanca Susana Saldivar. Uh, I, I am 31. Um, I work in government. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, my expectative uh, is the, the of the class is um, learn a lot because I um, I don't practice and it's difficult for me in the English. <laughs> don't worry, no, uh, it's not gonna be difficult with me. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> I live in Soyapango. Y... Name is Gabby. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Very good. Yes. You're going to practice with me a lot. Don't worry. Yes. And okay. sometimes, guys, if you, for example, feel that I try to explain to you, but it's really, you don't know the words. Well, for me, it will be nice if you can try to express as much English as possible, right? But if you want to, like, <laughs> say something in Spanish, because definitely you cannot find the word, you can say it, okay? But uh, we try to avoid Spanish as much as possible. Okay, very good. And last but not least, Gabriela Maria, it's your turn finally. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name is Gabriela Sanchez, but I like to be called Gabby. Gabby. Oh my God, but I'm, I'm, what am I going to do? I have two Gabbies here. 20. Yeah. Gabby one and Gabby two, okay. Um, I'm 27 years old. Okay. And I love you to go to the beach and go out with my boyfriend. <clears throat> okay. We like to know new food places. My favorite food is Mexican food. Oh, okay. Um, I graduate from Universidad Evangelica. Okay. Uh, I'm translator, but I think that it's never enough to keep learning. Definitely is not. And my expectation for this course, it, yeah, and my expe expectation, sorry, and to this course are, well, I want to improve my English uh, and my self-confidence. Very good. And that's what and you're to here know for. More. Definitely. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. We're going to make, we oh, already that's... make a deal. Right? So we're going to help each other. Definitely. Thank you so much, guys. Well, I'm yeah. so glad that know a little bit of you guys. Of course, in the meantime, during the course, we're going to know each other a little bit much better which is awesome. Well, also I have also Lise, Veronica, Alvi, Gabriela, Billy, Francisco, and Tirso that they enjoyed. And I know Elsie, don't worry. I was oh, about to yes. ask you. She said, she forgot about me. No way, girl, I'm a demon. So very good. Go ahead. Okay, Elsie. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. Um, my name is Elsa Vasquez, but I prefer you can call me Elsie Vasquez mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm work um, from, uh, in Confetti, it's a maquila. Mm -hmm. And since uh, 2008, and uh, um, I have expectation of this course because I need to improve my speaking. Mm -hmm. Because I'm working in a logistic department. Oh, okay. So I need to talk with suppliers, mm -hmm. uh, customers, mm -hmm. broker, etc. And so I need to uh, speak a lot. 
-hmm. but I, I am nervous when I talk to a American people, for example, or Chinese people, because I don't under, understand very well. And so uh, I think I can improve my, my speaking in this course. Of course. And my, mm -hmm. Yeah. And my, my hobby is uh, swimming, uh, swimming and uh, watching TV. I love the series and Netflix. I knew. Uh, of course, I, I, I listen uh, in, in English because uh, I think it helped help me with my English. And definitely it does. You know what? I have yeah. a, I have a, a lem, I have some uh, slogan, right? My a self slogan is like practice makes perfection. So with me, yeah. you're going to practice every single day, no matter yeah. what. Okay, very good. Because uh, uh, I'm looking for a new job. Definitely. Too. Yeah. And of course, if you improve your English and if you have like a second language, there will be many doors that might open for yeah. you, right? Like Gabby yeah. said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very yeah. good. Okay, yeah. guys. So we're going to make a deal. We're going to work each other, right? Yeah. But for with me, the attitude. The attitude is really important. Are you guys ready to learn? Yes. Okay, that's the spirit. Yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah, of course. All righty. Yeah. And we already start learning because you know why? We already start so sucking. You see? Yeah. Yeah. at the first beginning don't worry you know what i like is that maybe you said oh no it's not the, the way that i want to say it or like oops i make a mistake or like oops but, but you know what some of you correct yourself immediately and some of you don't but it doesn't like stop you like to, to continue expressing yourself and that's good that's very yeah. good uh, that, so that's what i like excellent job guys congratulations very good so now that we already start and i was uh, you know what before everybody joins the class uh, we were talking with Claudia about her date. How was her date? I know, guys, that um, you already uh, know about the simple pause, right? Don't you? Do you? Do you know about the simple pause already? Yeah? Yes. Please. All right, of course. I think that you have seen the simple pause of the bird to be. Am I correct? Yeah, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. What is the path? We have uh, the bird to be has, uh, has uh, two past tenses. Who can help me with this? Thank you so much. Go, go ahead, Blanquita. Oh my goodness, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, was, were. Very good, excellent. Good job. All right, Blanquita. Okay, so tell me something. Uh, 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 Claudia, um, should I use was for which pronouns? Uh, uh, you can use was with uh, I, I uh -huh. was. What else? Uh, um, Is that the only one? She, no. No? No. Uh-huh. Uh, she was. She, okay. Um, he Here was. Two. He was. Here is one. It was. Very good. Excellent. So you can use was with I and the third person singular, which you said, he, she, it. Is that right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Excellent. What's the pass of was? Thank you, Leo. Oh my goodness, teacher. Sorry, uh, repeat me the, the, the question. question? Yes. yes, yes, Ali. What's the negative of was? Wasn't. Very good. Uh, could you please spell it for me? Excuse me? Could you please spell it for me? Um, well, uh, was not? No, of course, that's that was yes. is a, is abbreviation of was not. Very good, excellent. But could you please spell for me? Like W-A-S-N-O-T. Oh, okay. uh, uh-huh. And if you want What's to abbreviate not? it? Uh, um, W-A-S-N apostrophe. I, I don't know how to mm -hmm. say apostrophe. Mm -hmm. apostrophe and T. Very good, fantastic. Give me to Pfizer. Woohoo, yeah. excellent yeah. job, yeah. Very good. All right. Now we're already finished with what's very good. Oh, and if you want guys to, to ask question with a bird to be, the where do I put the was? At the beginning. At the beginning. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And if I put it at the beginning, should I put W in, in uh, lower case or I put it in capital case, capital letter? Capital letter. Capital yeah. letter. Yes, because yeah. I'm, I'm, you see, that is really important in writing, okay? 
you can you can write the question perfect but if the w is with lower case i will put it wrong yeah okay. because it has to be because you are starting a, a a sentence you're starting a question so you gotta put the first letter capital okay very good excellent okay you also, a, I said, I think Blanquita also mentioned that there is another pasophy, which is the where, right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So GM, that is the abbreviation of Gabriela Maria. <laughs> All right. So uh, Gabriela Maria, could you please be so kind to let me know with which pronouns do we use where? Which pronouns? uh you uh -huh. they uh -huh. and we very good exactly hey and what is the negative way of where where and where and very good the abbreviation where and where and very good elsie excellent okay so you know what that's piece of cake right ah, easy peasy queasy very good job oh my goodness you have a study Ooh, congratulations guys but we can we can also use another verb uh, to talk about past tense besides um the past of the verb to be do you remember which one we can use as well any idea and it's another auxiliary, by the way. Yeah. Ah, very good. Very good, Cody. Like, I'm going to write it down right now for you guys. Uh, let me do something. Okay. Let me put something here. And I want your help with this. Okay. Do. Do is an auxiliary. Is that right? Okay. And it's the present, right? Okay. Guys, is it regular or irregular verb? What do you think? Irregular. Irregular, exactly. So what's the pass of do? Did. Did, very good. Okay, guys. So, you know what, did. So this is another auxiliary that we can use when we talk about past, right? The auxiliary did, what is the pass of do? You know what? This calls in English simple past because that will help you to make your life easy and simple. Okay, as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. There you go. So guys, let me ask you something. Can somebody tell me in your own words, what is a simple past? What is the simple past tense? When do we use it? And why? Any idea? Okay, don't wait, wait a minute. Only one at a time, one at a time. Don't complicate yourself. Only one at a time, please. Nobody, no, no idea? Huh? When, when the uh -huh, action. Mommy. When the action? Uh-huh. Moment. Uh -huh, Anita? When it's a, uh, no. Okay. Forget it. Come on. You can do it, Anita. No, I want, I want don't to tell, don't tell me forget action. it. Come on. When, no, because it's when the action has movement, but uh, uh, it's not that. Uh -huh. I, I remember that it's when, when the words, when you, the E, A, B, C, D, uh huh. No? No, to be honest with you, I couldn't hardly uh, understand it because you were like breaking up. Yes, what? What? Uh, do you use it with the verbs that, that you can uh, add or I? The, the other one was. Ah, I got it, got it. Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, you're right about the regular verse. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. you're right about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this part of it. Very good. Okay. But mm -hmm. I just want to know when do we use it? The simple past. Any idea? No? Okay. Don't worry. You know when what? The, yeah. When the action when. begin at the end and the past. Yay. Very good, Elsie. Oh, my goodness. You broke my heart, girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that it is. Okay. Could you please what? repeat yourself, Elsie? What did you say? Yeah. When the... When the some action 
begin and the end and the past. Some action. All the actions, my dear. Very good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Simple past means the actions that starts in the past and ends in the past. Period. As simple as that. Right? Can somebody give you an example? Okay. No, let me give you an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Let me say it with affirmative. Okay. Affirmative. Um, I lived. Listen, I lived in uh, Costa Rica uh, two, two, day, two years ago. I lived in Costa Rica two years ago. May I ask you, am I in Costa Rica right now? No. No. So, so what happened to that, to that action? It was in the past, right? Because it was like 2019. Yeah. We're back in 2021. Am I there or I'm not? No. no, right? No. Something that happens two no. years ago, no. stay two years ago, here in 2021, I'm back in El Salvador, right? Yeah. So that's what it means. An action that is starts in the past and ends it at in the past. Okay, let me show you right now something because as a teacher, I'm a well prepared and I have like a lot of information for you <laughs> but let me share right now my screen and do me a favor could you please be so kind to let me know if you guys are able to see it can you see it yeah or no yes, yes. okay cool all right you see yes. guys uh who can help me reading okay Liz, go ahead could you please be so kind to read it for me What is a simple past mm -hmm. is a verb tense, which is used to show that a complete action took place at a specific time in the past. The simple past is also frequently used to talk about past habits and generalizations. Very good, almost perfect. But could you please be so kind to read it back for me? Teacher, yes. Real what? Read again. <laughs> okay. Um, what it is a simple past. It's a verb tense, which is used to show that a complete action took place at a specific time in the past. The simple past is also frequently used to talk about past habits and generalizations. I'm gonna ask you to read it one more time. What did you do? <laughs> you know why? Because mm. of this one that I'm humble. Okay, 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 okay. Do it again. <laughs> what it is a simple past. It's a verb tense which is used to show that a complete action took place at a specific time in the past. The simple past is also frequently used to talk about the past habits and generalizations. Also, but I I'm... guess I pronounce yes. better. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> No, uh, no. Completed? It, it, it's completed. 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 Okay, completed. completed. <laughs> Remember that is a, that's a, this is a regular verb. I'm going to teach you right now, guys, the three ca categories with the regular verbs and how we can pronounce each of them, okay? But that's okay. Very good. I'm going to leave you right now. I'm going to leave you in peace, okay? Please, <laughs> right <Thank> now. You. <laughs> You're more than welcome, dear. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right. So, guys, do me a favor. I, I just want you guys to take a look at this. You see, I had time. I tried to make you like a like a timeline. Oops, the teacher. I didn't pass kindergarten. May I apologize for that. Okay. Okay. So guys, you see, this is a time frame. We have the present. We have the future. We have the past. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So let me give you this example. Take a look at this example. Um, Gabby. Gabby, no GM. Gabby, Gabby. Can you please read the example for me? Last year, I traveled to Japan. Very good. Okay, that means, it, let me ask you, Gabby, I'm still in Japan, yes or no? No. No. When do I travel, uh, when did I travel to uh, Japan? Last year. Last year, you see, that means in the past, right? And because it's yeah. last year, it's action that it starts in the past, but guys, finish in the past. Do you understand right now? Is it a little yes. bit clear? Yes. Ah, yes, of course. Easy peasy queasy, right? Like piece of cake. 
take a look guys i want you guys to even though we're not focusing on this right now but please be aware of how to write okay because i'm a really picky teacher you know and for me punctuation is really important okay very good okay let's continue shall we continue yeah right let's move on okay guys so um we know we are talking about auxiliary deed. Is that correct? Yep. Yes or no? Okay, cool. All right. So we're talking about auxiliary deed. And let me show you right now the questions. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay. Okay. Who can help me read it? Uh, okay, go ahead. To the beach. Mm -hmm. Did you break the window? All righty, very good. Okay, guys, do you remember, do, can you see here that the auxiliary when we're talking about questions is at the beginning of the question, right? But what happened we go and break? Those we call in grammar main verbs. Did is making the function of auxiliary and go and break is the main verb. But why, if I'm talking about simple past, why I put go and break in present tense? Any idea? Because we are using the auxiliary in past. Exactly. Very good job. So, guys, if you already used the auxiliary in past, which in this case is did, automatically transform the question into past. Okay? So, the main verb, which in this case is go and break, it has to be in present. Okay? That is one of the rules. So let me do, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. Let me erase here. There you go. Any questions so far? No? So far so good? No. Okay, cool. Take a look. Is that correct like this? No. No, it's no right? Why not? Yeah. Because the verb is in past tense. Because the verb is in past tense, exactly. We know it is in past tense. Exactly. No, so we used simple press, the simple present of the main verb, but the auxiliary did in the past, right? Very good, excellent. But guys, let me add, let me let you know something. That is an extra plus. Did you went to the beach? This one we call just no questions in this, in past. What does it mean? That the pronunciation is going to be racing, okay? Let's practice right now part of the speaking, which in this case is the pronunciation, all right? Repeat after me. Did you go to the beach? Did you go to the beach? Oh, no, 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 no. I need more energy. Did you go to the beach? Did you go, go to, to the beach? beach? That's the spirit that I need, okay. Did he break the window? Did you break, did break, he break the, the window? window? Did he break the window? Did, did he, he break the window? window? Did you know? Did he break the window? Did, did he, he break the window? the window? Very good. Okay, very good. Why I'm asking you that? Well, guys, because the intonation of a question is really, really important. So let me ask you, how are we going to answer those questions? Okay. Did you go to the beach? If this is just no question, I'm asking you a simple yes. Or a simple no, is that right? Yes, I did. Okay, okay yes. Yes. Jess, all righty, let me check here. Jess, comma, I did. I did. Period. That answer, guys, is the immediate answer of the question. Did you go to the beach? Yes, I did. And if I don't, guys, what's the, what it will be the answer? No, no I didn't. No, I didn't. didn't. No, comma, no, I didn't, didn't right? All right. No, I didn't. Oops. There you go. Let me change it into Spanish. There you go. Okay. So we have that. If you want, guys, after the period, the little period that you have here, after the period, to explain more information, it's up to you. Okay. That's okay. But the immediate, am I saying, the immediate answer to the question is this. Am I make myself clear? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Okay, now 
let's say that you would like to give uh, like an extra information, okay? For example, um, you said, did you go to the beach? Yes, I did. And you can set, for example, um, let me put here something. Let me move this one really quickly. There you go. Here, there you go. Uh -huh. You said, yes, I did, right? I went a, to El Espino, right? A last Saturday, all right? You can say it like that. You see, you are not like, um, you don't have to give me that information. It's not necessary. But if you want to, you can do it. And you see, guys, you gave me that immediate answer. Yes, I did. But you know what? You see what happened after the, the dot? Did you use a, a past tense? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. What is the past tense here? Went. Went. But you see, guys, when you're talking about um, affirmative, you, if you want to give me more extra information, you're not going to use the did. What are you going to do? You're going to use the past of the verb, but this will be after you answer to the question. Am I make myself clear? No? Yes. Yeah. I did. Yes? Okay. Yes, 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 I did. Period. No, I didn't. Period. Okay. And if you want to give more extra information, you just give it to me. It's up to you, right? And when you give me that extra information, there you're going to use the past of the verbs. Okay. Okay. So it's easy peasy queasy. But that's what we call just no question. You see, it's, it's easy, right? Piece of cake, right? Oh, yes, teacher, don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow, okay, we will continue with this. Definitely, we will. Um, and we're going to do more practices, more writing, more speaking. So, that is this is the first thing that we're going to do tomorrow. Guys, I'm going to ask you, okay. how was your day? Okay. And you are going to talk about your day. Don't, don't tell me like, ah. Uh, uh, when I listen to the little birds right next to the window, I open my beautiful eyes. No way, no, 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 that poetically, <laughs> right? No, like Shakespeare, but at least like a brief. And now that you have a little bit of idea how to use the past of did, and you already know the past of was and where, of oh, oh, sorry, the bird to be, which is was and where, you can combine it, okay? It's up to you. Alrighty, so that will be your uh, homework for tomorrow. Guys, you know what? It's time to go. Bye. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, I have another group right now. Okay, guys. So, see you tomorrow, okay? Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.